when I took office in this new portfolio that was created for me called, at first, long-term actions or long-term planning, and then later, strategic affairs, many people in the country professed sympathy with the idea of thinking long-term. But there was huge confusion about what that meant. They said, well, we're short-termists in our country, and what we need is a focus on the long-term. But what is the long-term? Really, their idea was a kind of Soviet conception of long-term planning diluted like a pair of blue jeans that you pass through successive washings until you have the desirable faded blue. So it was the Soviet idea of authoritarian planning with a 90% discount. And I had a completely different conception. And so first I want to begin by describing what my conception was. The first characteristic of the conception is the way to change is to have a view of a direction, of a trajectory. What matters is the direction. Any direction worth thinking about and fighting for can be marked out at points relatively close to what exists or relatively far from what exists. But what matters is that you begin. So you have to have a conception and you have to translate a, the conception into a language that is immediately intelligible. But this conception has to be enacted and exemplified in initiatives that can be taken right now. The only long term that matters is the long term that can begin short term. The second characteristic of my understanding of this activity is that we shouldn't start from dogmas or a prioris. In trying to advance in this direction, we should first appreciate what already works. And a great deal works in Brazil. There are thousands or millions of little epiphanies of innovations, of silent discoveries that are the natural material for this national transformation. And we should begin from there, from understanding uh, all of these contradictory resources for the transformative work. The third attribute of this practice was to insist that it be open, that we engage all parts of government and of society in crafting the solutions. The tradition of the state is a paranoid tradition in which you, you, you conceal the plans of the government until they're completely formulated, and then you announce them as a diktat. And you fear that any revelation of disagreement in the government will be used by the opposition as an opportunity to strike. My view is that it was much better to engage every part of the state, including the opposition forces, and every segment of society in the authorship of these solutions. And the price to pay for that was openness. Above all, openness about disagreement, about possibility. A fourth attribute of this practice was the conviction that we can solve our national problems only by reshaping our federalism. We copied our federalism from the United States, just as we copied our presidential system. And this classic federalism of the Americans suffers from a contradiction. 
its ideology is experimentalist. The states are supposedly laboratories of experimentalism. But its institutional structure is anti-experimentalist. It rigidly divides powers among the three levels of the federation, rather than facilitating the cooperative federalism that we need for the solution of many of our national problems. And it uh, prevents us from going very far in any particular part of the country in the establishment of a divergent solution. The idea of classical federalism is if you allow one state to diverge, then you have to allow all states the same level of divergence. But I took the view that not only should we establish a cooperative federalism, but we should begin to create the legal and constitutional framework that under very special conditions and safeguards would allow particular localities to diverge very far and to create a counter model of the future. The last attribute of this practice of long-term planning as I understood it, the, the anti-Soviet interpretation, so to speak, is that the objective was to form a conception that would be not simply the program of the government that is momentarily in power, but rather a project of the state that could be embraced by a broad consensus in the country and then supported, enacted, and revised by successive governments in the future. And it was in this spirit that I acted. I, I attempted actually to carry into action such a practice, and I then went in search of the country. I traveled the whole country, every state in the Union, and the interior of every state, and the interior of every interior. I was traveling and debating and acting almost nonstop. <laughs>